today's the day. The cluster is in the car and it has been tested working. So as you'll notice the RPMs are on the left and if I rev the engine the RPMs go up and down. If I flash the beams you see the display comes on and shows that the beam has been flashed. Um, I need to modify the image because it's showing the tail light for beam which isn't correct but that's no biggie. Uh, you can see the uh, indicator of the handbrake is on on the right. If I turn off the handbrake, the indicator disappears. If I put the handbrake on, it reappears. Uh, what else? Mm. <laughs> Fuel's about right. Engine temperatures are correct. Um, indicators work as expected. Uh, what else? Um, I don't think there's anything else I can test right now. Um, I need to drive and I can't film whilst driving at the moment. But uh, there we are. So, oh wait, yes, I can put my seatbelt on. And that will uh, activate the seatbelt, well, deactivate the seatbelt symbol. So, uh, give me a moment. Putting on a seatbelt with one hand is a bit difficult. There you are, seatbelt symbol disappears. So it works. Um, obviously the shininess is not permanent. That's just because this is the display model for my university uh, and it needs to be shiny and protected. The uh, final model will not have the shininess. Uh, anyway, there you are. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. So I'm currently uh, holding the phone onto the steering wheel so that it can record the dashboard whilst I drive forwards. As you can see, the uh, speed reading is all working. If I flash the lights, they all work. The RPMs are working just fine. They fluctuate quite quickly because of the um, car's resolution being quite low. I could implement some kind of mathematical smoothing, I suppose, but what you're seeing is basically the minimum resolution jumps of the dashboard rather than lots of minuscule changes just because of how the implementation of uh, sending signals to the dashboard works. I mean, I don't know why they've done it that way, but I suppose it's to do with the original analog needle not being so uh, high resolution. But uh, there you are. Hey ho. That's just the way it is. So anyway, as you can see, it works. Um, if I put the emergency lights on, you can see the emergency symbol comes on and the correct indicator lights come on too. So that's all working. Thank you for watching. This is what the display looks like at night. It's actually quite good, the brightness level. You can see everything works. If I put on the front fogs, rear fogs, that all comes on. Indicators work, etc. <laughs> it works. I'm happy about that.